What's going on guys, Black Scout Survival. Today we're doing six hotel security tips that everybody must, should or must know. You know, you're uh, on vacation and just disaster strikes. Uh, you know, you fire, um, someone tries to kill you. You know, you got Jason with a machete coming in, in the place. And I'm just kidding. But, you know, bad things can happen and you always gotta be prepared. It's all about self-preservation. So the first tip is, is like when you get to the hotel, choose what room you're gonna be in. You know, I always say never sit on the first floor. You can have that meth head come off the street and all you have is a thin pane of glass protecting you from the outside world. You could have a door on it too, which could also be bypassed. Um, I usually like to say second or third um, floors because, you know, I'm, I can quickly escape. I can get, you know, down the stairs uh, pretty quickly. Um, I'm, you know, it would take, it would take a, somebody with a Batman grappling hook to get up there to me. Um, from the street and it's just uh, you know if I have to make like an emergency escape you know and I don't recommend this unless you really know what you're doing you've been trained but you know something I like to carry is this uh, micro repel kit um, have I had this for a few years basically you put it on and uh, the straps right here come out and they go around your leg um, and you kind of hook in I would probably use this in conjunction with my black scale uh, consumer belt d-ring and kind of connect together that way I have two layers, you know, because I, I am trusting my life to this. But basically what it has is, is it's set up with a small micro eight um, and a carabiner. You hook in and your rope, you could tie off to a secure structure and you kind of repel out of the bag. So the, the lines here, and I kind of just repel out of the bag. So like I can get out of a lot of things. I always carry this as lightweight. Um, so it actually has a, a sheath cover for the, the rope too, so it's not near uh, abrasion, you know. But anyhow, I don't, I don't necessarily recommend this unless you know what you're doing. This is a military issue item uh, for emergency, special operations emergency escape, you know. But I've had it a long time and I, and I think it's a good piece of gear to have. So uh, number two, let's talk about, um, see so if you do have to escape, or as soon as you get in the room, what you wanna do is go ahead and take your phone out and just go ahead and snap a picture of this, uh, you know, your placard there, and it'll tell you in case in the middle of the night, you know, smokes, alarms going off, you know, this one will tell you where the fire extinguishers are. It's gonna tell you how to get to the parking garage, uh, stairs, the main stairs, and you know, all your exits. So you can, you know, really get out of here. If, uh, you know, you have to, and you have to leave in a hurry, you have that information on your phone. Um, this one has a lot of other information about safety tips and you know in case of fire and things like that so um, a lot of good information to have especially on your phone so that way you can you know use it as your mobile map number three is door security um, a few years ago I showed how to, to easily defeat one of these lock handles right here and it's basically uh, for it's a fire code it's called a panic handle. So even when this thing's locked, you just have to slam it um, and open it up. So you can use a bypass tool. You can make one even with a clothes hanger to get in one of these. So what I always recommend doing is stuffing a towel in when you get in the room. Because this, if, and I'll put a link to this video so you can see what I'm talking about. Any new people that's coming onto the video, it'll stop that uh, picking arm from hitting this door handle. So you always want to do that always engage this lock too and like i said before these can be easily defeated as well i'll never show that on a youtube because i don't think people should know how to do that but it's easy to so continue on with door security um this is something that just is going to give you a little bit more time what i like to do is uh and if you watch us on instagram be sure to put watch us on instagram and follow us on instagram because we did this uh stuff a long time ago on our instagram tv video but put a glass here and that way, somebody comes in in the middle of the night, it's gonna fall over, you're gonna hear it, you know. Um, depending on, you can stack it up as high as you want and give you that extra second so you can pull your, uh, you know, you get your concealed weapon, knife, whatever you got with you. It just gives you another second. You know, this isn't your castle, this isn't your home, so it's not impenetrable. You just wanna give yourself an extra second of time that way you can defend, you know. Um, action is always quicker than reaction, but it'll give you that much more of an advantage. The next tip, 
use the sign, privacy sign, leave it outside the door even when you're not there. You don't need your bed made, all that kind of stuff. Keep people out. Um, nobody needs to be in here when you're not here. And just let them assume you're here all the time. All right, the next uh, tip is always keep your stuff packed. This is something I learned in the Marine Corps, you know, when you're out, you know, on an operation or whatever. You don't just have your stuff everywhere. You might have to leave in a hurry. Same situation here. Have everything put away. Don't take everything out. Don't take out stuff you don't need. If you, if you, get, you get done using it, place it back in your bag. Always be ready to go at a moment's notice. You know, you don't want to have to leave. Middle of the night fire and you, you know, you're not, you're just wearing your uh, boxers or something like that. You can have a bag and you can get your clothes, whatever. You don't lose all your stuff. You know, maybe your car keys, keep that in your bag. All your stuff in your bag, ready to just grab and go. Think about it like a go bag. Um, the, speaking of your bags and your valuables, the last tip I'm going to give you is, you know, don't trust the security uh, of the, the room safe. Always maintain your own stuff, all your own valuables. So what I recommend is have your suitcase that locks up, put a lock on it, change it from the TSA lock, you know, get the most heaviest duty rugged lock you can find. Place on there that'll fit on that bag and um, you know, there's bags that kind of like clamshell because you can also defeat zipper bags. There's bags of clamshell, you know, find a kind of secure bag. Um, there's a lot out there and maybe if I, if I remember, I'll put some links below that you can get maybe on Amazon. And also like if you have some real value, well, let's say you have a Rolex, let's say you have thousand dollars cash or whatever, um, your wife's diamond earrings, take a, bring some coffee with you, like in a coffee can, um, halfway full, you know, with coffee and take your valuables, put it in a Ziploc bag or two, and just stuff it in the bottom of the coffee and place the lid on it. So if anybody looks in the bag, they're gonna just bypass the coffee. Even if they open it up, they're gonna see coffee, close it back down, and just keep going through your stuff, and they'll probably leave that alone, you know. Um, anyhow, guys, we could continue to go on. I mean, we'll do an update um, of more hotel security tips in the future. I just wanna hit you with these quick uh, six. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching the Black Scout. Survival.